Good morning! Happy Saturday! This is our current view in the window. Can't complain. So it's 8.30 in the morning right now. We just woke up, washed our face, <laughs> and we're gonna go downstairs to check what's for breakfast. What can we eat for breakfast? $10, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. $10 breakfast buffet. But first, coffee. Pancakes, bacon, sausage and egg, cereal for her. So it's already 10.30, so we have two activities for today. One is we're going to the Dinosaur Ridge. And then the second one is at the Colorado Convention Center. They have uh, um, some all-star game activities over there, so we'll find out later. <laughs> today will be Benita. Okay. She will pick you up right here at this little bus stop. You want to be there about five minutes early. Okay. And then the blue ticket is for the exhibit hall. All right. Thank you so much. You are welcome. <laughs> so this is 150 million years ago, yeah. and you're seeing a seaway advancing, advancing. You'll see that, so it's very important to look at these panels and look at what year, how many years ago, and to look at these descriptions to learn about which plants, animals lived there. Most of the fossils you're going to see are trace fossils. Trace fossils are not the real bones. Trace fossils give you evidence of dinosaurs that lived at one time. It could be footprints. Oh. Trace fossils. All right. Why is it like that? No. I think it was on purpose. Really? <laughs> okay. You had fun, baby? Yes. You remember now? You came here 2018? Yes. You said that. Hey, what, guys? Can you hold hands? El Dorado. So, so what's the story it's about story, El Dorado? It's a uh, myth okay. that the Spaniards were looking for. Uh, like a um, gold. They were looking like for a golden city. The golden city. Wow. Golden. Okay. They and were then looking for a golden city. And like and like the fountain of youth, it was fake. Yeah. 
and then wait, bring the camera to me. And then <laughs> in there is a game called Uncharted. Okay. The first Uncharted is about El Dorado. Oh, okay. I need to play El Dorado. Uh, <laughs> Uncharted. Not sponsored by El Dorado Water. No, by the way. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's here? No, it's not. Look at the mountains. So beautiful here. This is a must do activity if you visit Colorado, right? Correct. I highly recommend it. So, we're going to eat snack first and then we're gonna go on a bus tour. Yeah, look. look. Maybe it's from the. What? Oh my gosh! Amazing! It's coming from the tree. In my mouth. Did you know? Did you know that after you become nine, I mean, if you're eight and you become nine, you don't need a uh, booster seat in the state of Colorado. We're behind the butt of the dinosaur. <laughs> bus is here, the tour bus. But the other fun thing is, though, you can touch the footprints and touch the bones. Now, this is rattlesnake country, from those of you who aren't from here. Just be aware that, you know, they don't like us any more than we like them. So, <laughs> just be aware. So, kids, don't put your hands in little cracks or anything. Oh, Stegosaurus! Good! Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Uh, Stegosaurus. Okay, so the Stegosaurus is Colorado's state fossil, and you may or may not know, but the very first one in the world was found right here at Dinosaur Ridge. Wow. It's still the biggest one ever found. And we're going to go to the place where it was found. But first we have to put on our imagination hats. Okay. We have to imagine Colorado the way it was when the dinosaurs were here, which was flat and sea level. Okay. The, dino okay. the mountains weren't up yet. They came up after the dinosaurs. Yeah. So, we being Dinosaur Ridge, we're a small nonprofit. Our job is to help the Park Service preserve this site. So, we're going to get older. We're going to go back and we're not going to get older. We're going to go back in time as we go on this trip. is This is a rock called shale. Shale to me always looks like old kind of flaky paint. Shale is formed at the bottom of the ocean. So from 92 million years ago until 70 million years ago, Colorado and all of the interior Rocky Mountain states were under this ocean. It was called the Western Interior Seaway. Now this is a time period called the Cretaceous. Now before we were under the ocean, who knew we were beachfront property? Did you know that? Remember this was flat? Here's your sandy beach. Here's the sandy beach. The ocean is now out here to the east or to the left side of the bus. Now if this were a hundred million years ago, the waves would be crashing over the top of the bus. We're right here in the surf zone. Okay? And we know that because we're going to see ripple marks everywhere. Have you ever seen pictures of the waves and the waves come and go right on the shoreline? That's what creates those ripples. It kind of wrinkles the rock. Okay? Now, to our Floridian here, we know that during this time frame that, the, that we were tropical here. Really? Yeah, we were tropical. We know that because we find palm trees and mangrove trees here. Okay? Wow. So a hundred million years ago, we were just like Miami here. Wow. <laughs> South Florida. Yeah, exactly. But this was not a beach we'd want to be on. Hi, um, it was a slimy, icky, stinky beach. It was covered with about four feet of algae. So this gray rock you'll see up to the right now is a preview. That's the fossilized algae, and there's a little preview of the footprints there. But now we're going to stop at the... Our first stop is what we're famous for. This is the number one track site in all of North America. There's over 250 footprints here. Three kinds of dinosaurs and crocodiles. We color them in charcoal. Three great big back toes, little tiny oh, front foot. Yeah. yeah, well I'll talk about that one. That's actually some damage. You can touch these 
You can touch the footprints. You can feel that those are really there, right? We don't yeah. just paint them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is literally a day and time a hundred million years ago. Now we're in this, we have this here because we're defying gravity. It's part of our preservation. So we're going down through time as we come down through here. And our second stop is actually underneath our first stop. Every one of these layers is a page in the history of the earth. So these are two different herbivores and they're walking along a river. This is our second stop. See how these stack up? But look at this. You can, that's the footprint. And you guys can touch this, okay? You guys touch this. You don't have to ask them twice. No. <laughs> Anybody can touch it. Adults can touch it too. Which way are you supposed to have them on? Which way are you Okay, so let's follow them, guys. Come on. Let's follow them. Look. Look, look you see? Look, look, look. And then Wait. we're defying gravity again. Okay? This is an Apatosaurus. Yeah, I I've seen this one. Yeah. Some of you may remember it was called a Brontosaurus at one time, but it had the wrong head on it. You see that that road going up to the left, slanted up to the left? Follow it all the way to where it disappears, and then look up. That is the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Yeah, it seats about 14,000 people. But that rock is 300 million years old. That's before the dinosaurs, but the crocodiles were already here. Look at the bone. Touch yeah. the bone. Here. Yeah. Wow. I like him. Amazing. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah. This is quarry number five, and this exact spot is where they found the world's first stegosaurus. Now, stegosauruses are very rare. They're only found three places in the world. In this Morrison Formation, which covers Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana, a little bit of Alberta, they're found in Portugal and they're found in Tanzania. They were well suited to this kind of climate. So, any questions about all that? Yeah, it's the pubis bone of the apatosaurus. Yes, it's part of the hip. It's part of the whole hip region of this great big apatosaurus. That gives you another idea how big they were. So would you touch you feel how smooth it is compared to the sandstone? Okay, right there. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Jump. Yay! <laughs> so now we're back in the Cretaceous. There's a little bit of volcanic ash here, and the reason that's important is because it dates to 104.4 million years ago. The volcano, though, was in Nevada, <coughs> not in Colorado. Oh. So the ash blew over here. I don't know, some of you probably aren't old enough. We also got ash from Mount St. Helens when she blew up. Do you see this big thing, guys? It looks like a giant ball yeah. up in the rock. Yeah. Can you see it in the back there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See them? That's yeah. called a concretion, and the reality is we have no idea how those form. Oh. <laughs> I'm a geologist, and we don't know they uh, those form while the rock is hardening. But they always have organic centers, so there's probably a dinosaur bone in there. Ooh. Now the other big discovery, which the kids already know because they watch dinosaur trees, was in China. In China, the dinosaurs were preserved in volcanic ash, and they found hundreds, if not thousands, of dinosaurs there. Now we, that's why we know that the theropods, the meat eaters, all had feathers. They were all feathered animals. Yeah. Now they didn't put them in the movies because they wanted to be consistent, but if they ever do more, they'll probably put the feathers on them in the Jurassic Park movies. Were they covered in feathers or just had like a few? Some of them were covered in feathers. The T-Rex, they think, had more or less a mohawk of pin feathers along his back. That's why they're really good. Yeah, so it varied from from uh, dinosaur to dinosaur. Some of them looked like giant chickens. They did. The velociraptors are really about the size of wild turkeys. If you get rid of the wings and put claws in there, that's more what the velociraptor looked like. Wow. A vicious turkey, but you know, yeah. turkey nonetheless. Those are prairie dogs. There's millions, 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 millions of them. Yeah, yeah. They're not an endangered species. No. <laughs> no. 
Let's put it that way. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, you see me? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Fun, good. That was the main thing. Because you guys, was it worth, was it worth getting excited about, guys? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Good, good. Well, we appreciate you coming. It helps us maintain our, I mean, our mission of preservation and education. So, yeah. I hope you had fun, and if you accidentally learned something, that's good too. <laughs> so, what was your favorite part? Everything. I said the bones. Touching the bones. Mm -hmm. So, it's 12.46 right now, and we're going to the Colorado Convention Center next. Okay, we can confirm this is a cotton tree, which is this one. Looks like snow, right? <laughs> oh, this one looks close up. Hope you can see it. 